Hi, this is Prasanna from Wave Academia. In this video, we are going to discuss how to work with Vehicle Dynamics Block Set of MATLAB. So I am straight away going with the MATLAB. So in this example, we are going to discuss how to work with kinematic steering type provided with vehicle body 3 degrees of freedom dual track. I am straight away going with the MATLAB. First of all, I will let you know where to pick the elements. First, go to library browser, go to vehicle dynamics block set. So in that vehicle dynamics block set, you are having a lot of options, powertrain, sensors, steering types, suspension, utilities, vehicle body, vehicle scenarios and wheels and tires. So in this one, go to steering. So you are having different types of steering. So in this example, I am going to use kinematic steering. So let us discuss how to work with this kinematic steering and then in a vehicle body you are having a different types of vehicle bodies are available. For an example motorcycle, uh, vehicle with trailer 3 degrees of freedom, trailer with 6 degrees of freedom, vehicle body with uh, 3 degrees of freedom, 3 axles, single track, so many different types of vehicles are available. So in this example I am going to discuss about Vehicle body 3 degrees of freedom dual track. This is the vehicle I am going to take. So with the help of steering, I am going to give input to the vehicle. So based on the input, that steering moment, I am going to check out what is the longitude and velocity, lateral velocity of vehicle, yaw angle, yaw rate, forces acting on the front wheel as well as forces acting on the rear wheel. So that will be the objective of this video. So first of all, I am going to take a kinematic steering. So let us consider this is actually a, the input is angle input. You have to give angle input and you can take left side angle or right side angle as an output. How to give angle as an input to the kinematic steering? Let me take a knob so knob is available in the symlink dashboard okay imagine it's a knob i'm going to use this knob as my steering wheel okay so how to connect this knob with the kinematic steering so if you look at this this knob don't have any input ports as well as output ports there is no output port how to connect it this knob with kinematic steering you need one more component called a connecting component. So simply I am taking a constant block. Okay, place your constant block somewhere. Now double click the knob. So it will automatically open the knob pop window. If you want to link this knob with the constant block, what you need to do is select the constant automatically that constant block can be visible in the knob pop window okay just click on connect that means whatever the input you are giving through the knob that will be taken as an input to the constant so from there you can easily connect the constant block with the steering block okay here I am selecting my minimum value is minus 30 degree, maximum value is let it be 30 degree, positive 30 degree. So now you can see this, you can adjust this constant block, okay. So whatever the adjustment you are doing, that will be reflected in the constant block, which constant block is connected with the kinematic stream. Okay. So once again, I am repeating this procedure, take a knob and take a constant, now double click the knob, select the parameter which you want to connect, automatically that will be reflected in the knob, select, minimum is minus 30 degree. 
and maximum when it beats a 30 degree. You can choose any values according to your steering position. It will be applied. Okay. So whatever the input, it's the angle input. Okay. It's a steering angle. So, but whatever the kinematic steering, this block requires it's a radian, not angle. So you have to convert degree to radian. So simply connect the steering angle. The output of degrees to radius is connected with the kinematic steering. So once the input, the steering position is given to the steering kinematic steering, automatically it will produce the left angle and right angle. Okay. The next block is you can take a vehicle body. Go to library, go to vehicle dynamics block set, go to vehicle body. There I'm going to pick vehicle body, three degrees of freedom, dual track. Add the block. So now you are having again a two inputs and it's almost it's having six outputs. So this one is nothing but it is an angle. And this is a rate of change of velocity. Okay, that you have to give. So how to give in kinematic steering, there are two outputs, but in vehicle body, it's having only one input. So you have to merge both outputs. How to merge it? You have to use a component called matrix concatenate. So we know that the basic MATLAB says that MATLAB is nothing but it is a matrix laboratory. Whatever the way you are working, that will be treated as a matrix. Okay, it's a matrix is nothing but it is an array. Okay, so you have to connect left angle and right angle. So the name of the component is matrix concatenate. Double click it. So number of inputs is two. You can increase any number of inputs. Make sure that the mode is vector. It's a vector. Okay, so you can straight away connect this matrix concatenate with the V angle. So I'm going to give x dot in the rate of change, take a constant, and I'm giving that constant value as 8. So based on the input, I'm going to measure this parameter x dot, y dot, psi, r, f is at up and f is at up. What is this parameters? x dot is nothing but it will give you vehicles longitudinal velocity, y dot is vehicle lateral velocity, psi is yaw rate that is nothing but it is a rotation of vehicle fixed frame about the earth. r is yaw rate, psi is yaw, r is yaw rate. That is something, but it is a vehicle angular velocity. What is F is at F? It is a normal force acting on the front wheel. Similarly, F is at R is normal forces acting on the rear wheel. Okay. So we are having uh, two front wheels as well as two rear wheels. So you will get two front wheel forces, two rear wheel forces. That is front left wheel, front right wheel. Similarly, rear left wheel, rear right wheel. You will get four forces. So you can easily measure what is the maximum force acting on the wheel with respect to the driving inputs. So make sure that let me take a scope. I want six inputs.
you can go and change the style also because make sure that always a white background and uh, axis color is white and pen is black similarly you can select the channels So now I'm going to give a continuous input. So I'm changing the stop time from some time to infinite. Okay. Now we can run the system. So once it is compiled, then you can start giving your inputs. Now see, now I'm changing the position of steering wheel. So if you look at this, I'm just taking this constant. I'm changing the position of knob. That means I'm driving. So we normally drive from left to right, right to left, right. Such a way you can give the inputs. Okay, whatever the input you are giving through this knob, it will be taken back as a constant value which is fed to the kinematic stop. Now you can stop it. If you want to see the output, then go to the scope, go to view, go to layout. I'm just changing the color okay similarly I'm going to 5 this one is blue and for the rear wheel I'm selecting red okay so now you look at this the first one is longitudinal velocity second one is lateral velocity this one is yaw this one is yaw rate this is forces acting on the front wheel and this is forces acting on the rear wheel that means you can see this this is forces acting on the front right wheel this one is front left wheel similarly this is rear right wheel this is rear left wheel. So such a way you can easily measure with respect to your input. So what are all the forces acting on the wheel? What is the velocity of vehicle, lateral velocity, longitudinal velocity, yaw, yaw rate, everything with the help of this program. Okay, I hope 
this video will greatly helpful to you to understand what is vehicle dynamics block set. In upcoming days, we will see more on that line. Thank you. Kindly subscribe to the channel. If you have any queries, kindly drop a mail to this mail ID. Thank you.